Hello, this is Frances and Linteria, and today I'm going to show you my skills demo for basic computer skills. So let's make a PowerPoint presentation. First, let's open the app. Look for Microsoft PowerPoint. And select blank presentation to create a new one. And you can see click to add title. So click on that to add your title. For example, polygons. And he, below you can also see click to add subtitle. So if you don't have one, you can select that and delete. Now from here, we can change the font style. So on the home tab, you can see a list of font styles that you can choose from. For example, I will choose Arial Black for my title. And at the same time on the home page, you can also see an option to change the font color. So for example, I'll choose red for my title. Next, in order to add the second slide, you can go to insert tab, click on new slide. Here you can also see click to add title. So example, types. Of polygons and below you can still click to add text so add the types of polygons for example we have concave polygons and convex polygons so we can also change the font size by selecting the text and going back to the home page, here we can see an option to change the font size. We have font sizes that we can choose from. And you can do the same for your title. You can still select the text and choose the font size that you desired. Now for the third slide, go back to insert tab, click a new slide, and from here, we can also insert shapes. So go to the Insert tab, click on Shapes. For example, I will choose this one for quadrilateral. Another one, I can choose this for triangle. Alright, so next, let's proceed to transitions and animations. In every pages, we can add some transitions for more emphasis. So for the first slide, I can choose transitions. From here, there are actually a lot of them. So I'll choose this one. And we can do the same for the rest of the slides. So for the second slide, I'll choose this one. And the third slide, this one. Now aside from transitions on each pages, we can also add animations for each text. So for example, polygons, you need to choose the text first and then go to animations. There are also a lot of animations to choose from. We have for entrance, for emphasis, and for exit. So I'll just choose from the emphasis. And I can do the same for the rest of the pages. Still on the list of animations. Okay, so uh, since we have applied transitions and animations, in order to see the result, you have to click on slideshow and let's see the result. Alright, so that's all for today. Thank you for watching.